so let me just show you the parts needed for my Hot Wheels track timer circuit. Alright. <clears throat> First thing you're going to need, well, there's several things you're going to need, but let's just go one by one. I use Arduino Uno. Uh, excuse me. Nano. Very small, very compact. And I take that and I put it on this small breadboard that I bought. It's really, I can really cut this in half, but it fits right in here with all these, damn it, pins. Just line it up. You want this to be lined up on the end because you have to plug this into it. For programming and then later just for power And it fits right in, except I just screwed this up. Bent the pin a little bit. This is an old, old one. But trust me, it goes right in there like that. So. When you order one of these, it comes with one of these to hook up to your computer for programming. Later, you can also cut this, cut this off down here and connect the red and black wire and connect it to anything you need for five volts. And that will power it. I use this wire. I just cut that. And I put this red, black, red, black, red, black, red, black, and make this any length I want. But I always try to save one for programming. All right. So you need that. You need that. For the display, you're gonna need one of these. <clears throat> This is a 16 by 2 LCD display. This thing right here is very important because when you first plug it in, you're just going to see white. You turn it down a little bit and then your display will come out. So what that looks like without all this is this. Same thing. So we got one of those. You're going to need some resistors. These are a half watt 30 ohms. You don't need a half watt. A quarter watt would work. But I saw these. I got a hundred of these. I've used two. Now you're going to need three of these. These are 10K, 10,000 ohms. Now these are the normal size quarter watt resistors. I use three of those. 10K, three. 30 ohm, I use two. It's cheaper to buy a pack of 100. You need a start and stop LED, a transmitter, and a receiver. A pack of 10. That's five sets. Well, there's 20 pieces in here, so that's 10 sets. You're going to need some of those. 
And like I said, you're going to need some wire. Where's my wire? These are the um, extensions. What was that piece of wire I just had? Crap, I hate getting old. Oh, here it is. This wire. Now, I have access to this uh, 24 gauge, two pair wire, white, green, red, black, with the ground. We throw this away regularly because the runs are too short to do anything with for uh, the job I do. So I say, hey, um, can I take it home? I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to throw it in the garbage. All right, well, I'll take it. So I use this. However, you need multiple colors. <clears throat> I would get uh, a 12, 14, 16 color wire, but it's really expensive. So what I do is <clears throat> I put a label, a piece of tape on here and label it like this one's going to go to A number 2. Right? This one goes to uh, D9. So I put a label on there. And then when I get more colors of the same, I put different labels on them so I know where the heck they go to. So, um, what else you need? Oh, you could use a... Uh, if you're doing a, a light... A timer light and uh, speed with timer you can, you can probably get away with one of these but it's way too big you put one on one side put one on the other side you got room to do everything you do uh, two of these is probably better you can put one in one location and one in the other location so like I said, here's the color code. I use these pins, which you're probably going to need a pack of those. Because that's a pin. That's a female. And it plugs right in. Now, they're not really square. They're actually rectangular. So, when you see all these little uh, silver marks lined up, you got them in the right way. If you go this way, they don't want to line up. Okay. Dang it. If I had better eyes, I'd do this the first time. So basically, that's all you need. And you need the code. I have the code. Now, I have the code from Slam Man Customs, but I modified it, and I changed it for the things I want. Now, like I said, I have two of these. One's for the start lights. Then this D9 output jumps off of here onto the other Nano, onto an input. And then starts everything else. After the lights turn green, this output turns positive, goes to the other nano on the input, and says start timing. Now, the LED display is also connected to this timer nano. I've tried really hard to make make all everything into one but it, it just doesn't want to work I don't know what I'm doing but with two nanos one two see my video uh, two nanos one project then you get the display mine says whatever I want and then when this kicks off this changes and starts counting down for the timer and mindset with speed I can just cut out the display for, let's see, timer speed. 
the speed because to make it accurate you got to really measure your track I got a four inch wheel like you see a uh, contractor use but they there's a big wheel yeah but I got a little four inch wheel and I measured a track like three three four times take an average <clears throat> from start to finish so that's what you need you need some wire this is this is a lot of what most people don't have you can buy a spool of wire one color any color 24 gauge but you're gonna have to label each wire I would say about a foot from the end if you're gonna put this in a box get some wire snips solder that, you're going to need solder you're going to need uh, flux and a soldering iron of course and if you do this right it'll fit right in that hole put this in a little box you'll be set to go alright so I hope that helped and that's for uh, my buddy halfway across the world, Brandon. Uh, Summers, I think. So good luck with your build. I don't know if you guys want any of the part numbers on here, but I can read them to you. But I got them all off Amazon. The resistors, I got these. I got the nanos. I got these resistors, these by, I mean by uh, LCD display, you can't see it so that's why I got this old one. Alright, I got lots of these, more than I need but that's the way they come, it's cheaper that way. Thanks for watching, have a great night, I'll see you later.